At the same time, increasing temperatures will invariably alter tolerance parameters for a host of species. Some will seek out new habitats. Others, a vast majority, will be unable to adapt and will disappear forever. A true catastrophe by any measure, comparable to the one that occurred 65 million years ago when the dinosaurs were wiped off the face of the Earth, a catastrophe that this time will be called mankind. If we cannot stabilize population and if we cannot stabilize climate, there is not an ecosystem on Earth we can save. Everything will change. We can set land aside and call them parks or wildlife reserves and build fences around them, but if climate changes, the ecosystem will change. Um, so there's, there's a long list of, uh, of, of stresses that are developing in the relationship between the global economy and the Earth's ecosystem. Mm -hmm. They include desertification, deforestation, overgrazing, overplowing, soil erosion, rising CO2 levels, um, rising temperature, uh, more destructive storms, uh, falling water tables, uh, rivers running dry, um, uh, disappearing species, dying coral reefs. There's a long list of stresses now uh, developing as the global economy keeps expanding, but the Earth's ecosystem remains the same. Each time an animal or plant species disappears, we lose the possibility of curing diseases like cancer or AIDS. Over three quarters of the medicines prescribed in industrialized countries are made with natural compounds. But that's not all. Plants maintain the atmospheric balance necessary for life on Earth. Insects pollinate flowers. Birds protect our crops. Aquatic animals purify the water. Bacteria regenerate the fertility of the soil. All living beings are unique and unrepeatable components of this planet, which in turn is a complex mechanism where everything is carefully connected. Human beings have only been around for approximately 150,000 years. Scientists believe species have lifespans of between 1 and 10 million years. In theory, we have a long and unimaginable future ahead of us to learn how to preserve the Earth's biodiversity of which we form a part. A long future to lessen the risks caused by the violent geological evolution of our planet. But sometime along the path of that future, it's also possible that we may have to face a threat that comes from somewhere far, far away. This threat is known as NEOS-2, or near-Earth object, and there is a great deal of evidence suggesting that the dinosaurs became extinct when an asteroid of similar characteristics sliced through the atmosphere and slammed into the Earth's surface. That occurred some 65 million years ago, and it was only about 10 kilometers in diameter. However, it has been calculated that its destructive force was 10 billion times that of the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. The fires the collision caused devastated the entire southern part of what is now North America, the Indian subcontinent, and the greater part of the Earth's equatorial belt. A vast number of species were doomed to extinction, Along with the dinosaurs, thousands of plant and animal species, half of those in existence at the time, were simply obliterated. The Earth took 12 million years to re-establish its ecosystems. The event changed the entire face of our planet. While the dinosaurs disappeared, at the same time there was a veritable explosion of other forms of life, principally mammals, which had until then been forced to occupy only a small corner of the Earth's overall ecosystem. Human beings, like so many other components of nature, are the result of that horrible destruction.
The odds of a nail colliding with the Earth have been estimated at one every 1,000 years. Over the past few decades, scientists have come to the conclusion that catastrophic threats coming from outer space could very possibly be much more destructive than those generated on the planet itself. We know that hundreds of NEOs cross the Earth's orbital path. Any one of them could, theoretically, smash into the planet and provoke a disaster that would be unprecedented in the history of mankind. Experts watch the skies closely and classify NEOs according to their dimensions. There are NEOs that are over one kilometer in diameter. A body of that size would produce damage on a global scale, including the alteration of the atmosphere and major climate change. If a NEO measuring one kilometer in diameter did in fact collide with the Earth, human beings would be very hard pressed to survive. The impact of smaller sized nails would provoke local catastrophes, but would not cause the extinction of species. Some scientists believe that a nail might hit the Earth sometime around the 31st of January or the 1st of February 2019. Obviously, the calculations are not 100% certain, but the extremely sophisticated research programs in use are working around the clock in an effort to avoid this type of catastrophe. One of these projects is called the Don Quixote mission. It was designed by the European Space Agency and is manned for the most part by experts from Spain. The project is studying the real possibility of changing the trajectory of a threatening body from outer space through the use of specially made projectiles. The system is expected to be operational by 2012. The history of the Earth clearly shows that no natural disaster originating on the planet per se could possibly be as destructive as the impact of an asteroid from outer space. It's also very possible that we might not be able to defend ourselves against the effects of a nail. In fact, the human race may one day become extinct. In such a worst case scenario, the Earth would once again invest millions of years to re-establish the course of life. Maybe one day, paleologists from some future intelligent civilization might find evidence of our existence through the traces we leave behind. What kind of beings might these future people be? What would the plants and animals they live with be like? What creative marvels will Mother Earth have come up with by then? Until a disaster of such proportions occurs, the greatest share of responsibility for life on our planet falls squarely on the shoulders of mankind. Maybe one day we might be able to control the causes of the processes that seem to be driving us straight into a future marked by major climatic changes. Perhaps we might someday be able to lessen the alarming frequency with which both plant and animal species are disappearing. In both cases, the destiny of our world would once again depend on the whims of nature. The Earth was born along with the Sun some 4.6 billion years ago, and it will die along with the Sun after a more or less similar period, although most likely we won't be here to see it. Chaos or equilibrium, our planet stays a steady existential course, a course where cataclysm plays a key role as a kind of catalyst of Mother Earth's very existence, and as such, of ours.